Let's turn our attention to the markets this past week as we are being joined by Chris Haberkamp with Paragon Ag Advisors, Silver Lake, Kansas. Chris, it just seems like um, not just the grains, but the livestock as well. A lot of these markets, the, commo- the um, uh, financial market even to an extent, now, all of this stuff just kind of seems range bound at this point. You know, it really does, John. I, I, I look at, you know, one day's headline versus the next, and it very much is like a ping pong match. I've been <laughs> saying this for, uh, you know, last weeks, if not the last two or three months with customers, just simply saying one day we'll get a positive headline come across and everybody gets excited for about 18 hours and then uh, something else comes out to counter punch it. And we just can't simply break this uh, range that we've been in. The only market that's actually starting to break out of this range, unfortunately, is to the downside, and that's the wheat market. But, you know, last week when we got the USDA re- report or the numbers finally coming out, I had anticipated we'd see some action. And uh, really, we just we just did nothing at all. And this week, very much the same. You know, what else is disappointing about that wheat market is the fact that we've even seen the dollar kind of level out here. Yeah, it's strong right now. But it, uh, I've, I've talked to a few that say it almost is the point where it makes the United States just on the verge of uncompetitive in the global market. Right. That is, that is absolutely true. It, you know, we've also seen some fundamental bullishness. Obviously, the weather is a concern. Uh, seasonally, this is the time of year where sometimes we can start getting some export sales, which incidentally we have over the last week to 10 days. But yeah, with that rally in the dollar, We just have priced ourselves just far enough out of the marketplace. And it seems like everybody is uh, just kind of standing on the sidelines that needs to buy wheat. They're they're waiting to see if something will break. Unfortunately, U.S. values most recently have broke. And Chris, this is still along the lines of all of the ag commodities, both grains and livestock. Um, A, is the market becoming weary of this ping pong, as you well put it, back and forth between, uh, yes, Talks are going well. No, talks are not going well. That's the first part of the question. Second part of the question is, uh, are you concerned at all that we've already built in the optimism into this market that once we do get a China agreement, uh, nothing happens? Or, you know, a lot like what happened when the world's supply and demand estimate and the wheat seedings estimate came out. Um, There was just not enough there to carry us through and the bears came right back to the market and said, see, see, uh, there's no reason to get all uh, ginned up here because we won't get any sales till the end of the year. What are your thoughts? Right. You know, it, it's, you know, a loaded question, right? <laughs> I mean, nobody has that crystal ball. But I think what, you know, from years of, of trading and uh, never being surprised anymore what the market does, if you look at the recent sideways pattern, we have even a wider sideways pattern that has been created over the last several months. And what I'm referring to is, let's say, in fact, we actually get a trade resolution and on face value, it looks very bullish. I still would not be surprised to see the market become disappointed because maybe there are no actual sales to occur. And we break out of this range and break to the bottom end of the overall buy channel, which would be last fall's lows. And the main reason that I'm concerned that that could occur is because of the funds positioning. As of late, we've seen the funds liquidate a very large net long position. And you could even maybe debate that they want to go net short to try that side of the paper for a little while. But yet, in the end, if we were to break down to those levels, I truly believe we would hold for now. We're going into a new crop year, maybe a new set of dynamics with trade. And even if we were to break out to the downside, I think last fall's lows hold. But to your point, yes, we are range bound. Could we become disappointed? Absolutely. But I do think we need a one-two punch. We not only need a trade agreement, but we absolutely need to see some business as well. Yeah, see some follow through. And I didn't mean to toss you uh, a tough loaded question like that. So uh, I owe you a steak dinner. All right. Uh, If we want to find out more about Paragon Ag Advisors, what's the best way? Absolutely. Check us out online, myagadvisor.com or give us a Ray at 888-452-8751. Chris Haverkamp, Paragon Ag Advisors, Silver Lake, Kansas. And there is more of the program. Stay right where you are.